Hello everyone, today I'm going to be going over classes in Python. It's a very important part of Python and is a little bit harder to uh, grasp the idea of it. But basically, classes are what give uh, Python great accessibility through a lot of different things. For example, if you were to import a module like math, you will get all those new um, abilities such as root like that. And basically what's happening is that math is pointed at a uh, class and square root is the um, is a method or function defi defined inside of that uh, class. So classes are um, really good. They give you much more um, abilities and they're just good in general. So we'll start uh, making one now. So to make one you're just going to type class and then the name. So we'll do uh, class name and then parameters colon enter. Um, before I get started I'm just going to let you guys know I'm still learning about classes and so uh, it is a little bit harder to understand how to do them. I'm going to explain it to the best that I can. Uh, I know pretty um, well what I'm about to teach you so you don't have to worry about that it's just that classes are a uh, different way of thinking I guess so within here you're going to define a function or a module a method whatever you want to call it and then we'll um, define its properties so we'll define this one as create um, uh, we'll just make it um, yeah create name and then within here we're going to type self oops self ah self and then comma name and then a colon enter and then you can write your script here um so what this is doing is it's making the uh method create name so you would do the class name dot create name and then you'd be able to use this self here points to the uh name of the class so right here um you can use uh whatever you want as self but it's always going to be the first part in a parameter and you need it for all of your methods um you can name it whatever you want but you have to make sure it's consistent through all the methods that you make uh within the class otherwise you're going to start getting errors so for this one, we're going to do self uh, dot name is equal to name. So what that does is it says uh, when the class name dot name is used, so when this variable is used, it's actually equal to the variable itself and nothing else. And now we just go and define another one. And we'll have this one say... Uh, name return and then this one will only take the uh, parameter self an right, argument self and then enter and we'll have it uh, return uh, self dot name we'll make another one and this will be um, say and then this will also only take the parameter of self nothing else colon and we'll have this um, print uh, hello and then modulus s comma uh, how are you how are you and then we're going to end the quotations there modulus and then self dot name so this way it'll say hello and then the name how are you then we'll define another one and this one will be create uh, uh, let's do create i create eyes and then this will take the arguments self comma and then uh, color and we'll make it so this one is self dot uh, color 
is equal to color and this one is just going to be to show you a little bit more in depth uh, how the classes work and then we'll make um, this one say show and then have this one just take self colon self dot color and we'll have it actually my bad we'll have it print um, self dot color so it'll pr print out the uh, color of the eyes hit enter twice and now uh, type in your class name and you should get something like this and it just says that it's been registered in the memory and it's kind of gibberish but it's what it's supposed to look like and now we're going to assign uh, objects to these classes so we'll name the first one Kurt so Kurt is equal to class name and then we're going to make another one and that will be Billy is equal to class name and don't forget your uh, parentheses right here and just to make sure that we assign these correctly you just type in the name of it and you should get the same memory as up here uh, you might get different position in here but that's just to be expected because you can't store multiple things in the same place we'll check with Billy as well okay that works and now we will do um, some actual methods with it so we'll do Kurt dot create name and as you see here that's this method here and it takes the uh, argument of name so we'll name this one Kurt and we'll just to show you that we can do this to others we'll do Billy create name and then we'll have this one just say oops, Billy uh, oops misspelled that Billy dot create name and then just added that extra e um, and then the name will be uh, Billy now if we do something like Kurt dot um, say oops Kurt dot say and then parameters so that we don't get that weird uh, memory thing we get hello Kurt how are you and you can also do if statements in here as well so you can actually create functionality from it and then if we do Billy uh, dot say hello Billy how are you and we could also do Kurt dot uh, create eyes and then we'll make the color blue and we'll do Kurt dot show oops Kurt dot show with parameters and we get blue so that's the basics of uh, how classes work you can also save this and use it as a module if you want to use these uh, classes and things like that uh, so if we were to save this we would basically make it so that Kurt was already assigned to everything that's been used in here but it won't be assigned these values at least I don't think so may have to test that and tell you guys but anyways thanks again for watching comment with any questions or recommendations you have like the video if you liked it and comment and subscribe for future videos thanks again for watching I'll be seeing you later